Hi guys, this is Janine, and I wanted to show you today a quick way that you can be checking on your child's work or your teenager's um, progress that they're making. And so that's really important, whether it's just three to five minutes once a day, and then maybe 10 minutes once a week to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, in the beginning, I suggest that you do it every day with them um, by going over to make sure that they've done exactly what they're supposed to be doing probably for the first week or two to set that routine and to make sure you're both on the same page. It's a lot easier to create um, positive routines and setting the parameter of what they need to do and what's expected for them in the very beginning versus trying to fix mistakes later on. And so I'm going to show you right here that Whatever account you have, you can click on my courses, and this is where I go to check everything. This is where I can go to check if my daughter has been making progress, um, to see how she's scoring on the quizzes. So let me show you. The very first um, class is going to have a drop down menu showing you some details. I'm going to hide that because I want to see at a glance all of the different subjects that say my daughter is enrolled in and I wanna know how she's doing. This isn't her account, but I'm using her as an example. So you can see that we can at a very quick glance, we can tell how many lessons are in the entire class, as well as remember every lesson has a five question quiz. So right now I can tell that my student is going to have to do 101 lessons and quizzes in order to finish seventh grade world history two. Okay, so let me go up and share with you that I'm gonna click on right here onto the class. And again, it's a little bit of a time investment in the beginning, but then you're gonna have a smoother year for the rest of the nine months. So it's worth it to invest just a little time up front to set the boundaries and set the expectations of what is required. So right here, I can see that my student has done 52 out of 89 quizzes, which also means hopefully that they completed 52 lessons. So right here in chapter one, I can see though that they are scoring four out of five. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on their score. And the reason why this is important Study only requires an 80% to pass, but I will tell you as a teacher that I want our students to use the quizzes, the flashcards, the chapter test as a learning tool. That's what those tests are supposed to be for, to learn from your mistakes. So it's not a big deal what they score on the quiz, if they score a 80%. What is important is that the expectation is that they have to go back and find out why they missed the question they missed and what the correct answer is. So right here you can see on this quiz that we can see these ones are the questions that they got correct. And if we scroll down, we're gonna find that one that was missed. So right here we see the red X and so not only is it gonna show your child what answer they answered with, but it's also going to show um, an explanation of the answer, as well as all they need to do is click here, and it's gonna take them back in the video lesson to exactly where this was explained. So if there's an eight minute lesson, it's gonna go back to four minutes and 56 seconds, and they're going to get that explanation again from the teacher on why the correct answer is um, information systems is at the intersection of technology. Okay, the other thing I wanna show you is that not only can they watch it there, they can also scroll up to the top. They can click on the tab that says video right here, and they are back where the video is, and below it, remember, we see the entire transcript of everything that was said in the lesson. So if your student does better by looking up the answer, that's a great study skill. You know, maybe you say, okay, you need to go back and you need to find the answer. And then once you find the answer and you understand, maybe reading the entire paragraph that you found the answer in, 
then they can go back, click on quiz, and it will say retake quiz. So again, you are not penalized by retaking the quizzes. These are meant as a learning tool. So please make sure that your student is going back and either watching the answer or they are reading the explanation or again, you're making them go back to that transcript and find the answer. If you think about it this way, if there's 100 lessons in this class and they only score a four out of five on every single quiz, you can see how that's going to be a problem when they get to the chapter test. Because again, they've only mastered 80% of the material. Then let's take it a step further. Now we go to um, mastering the entire class. Again, if 80% is the expectation, that might be what is okay for your family, but I would also recommend that you look at it from the standpoint that's 20% of um, this class that the student will never learn. So a lot of times, just like in English, math, history, or science, when we learn something um, this year for school, we're going to come across it again possibly next year or the following um, the following year. So it's really going to affect your student if they are missing out on 20% of that information every single year. So again, no penalization. They can retake that quiz as many times as they want. I'm going to show you um, the chapters at a glance. If I close this little arrow, it looks like he's completed 100% of every chapter. But again, I'm going to be able at a quick glance to be able to see that there were several quizzes that once again, um, he did not master at 100%. Again, that's up to your family on how you decide. You're the homeschooling parent. So one of the things I love about study is that it continues to allow you to make the choices for your child. So right here, I'm gonna show you another really cool thing about the chapter test. Right here, I can see it at a glance. The chapter test was taken. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Each chapter test is usually 30 questions long. I can see at a glance, that they scored an 83% on the chapter test. They were able to get 25 correct and five questions missed. Well, study takes it a step further, just like with the quizzes. It's gonna break down for you your areas of strength, as well as show you your areas of weakness. So this is a great way to also keep track. Maybe your son or daughter does one or two lessons a day in each subject. So maybe they're averaging about one chapter um, a week in that, in that subject. Well, that's really easy to look at that chapter at a glance and then come here and see how your student did. So again, you can review all of your answers. Here's the explanation of the correct answer. Here's where you can watch the correct answer. And then also up here, you can see that it is going to tell you your exact areas of weakness. So if you want, I can, you can click here, or your student can click here, and they know that they should probably go over lesson three again. Here's lesson three in chapter two. So there's several ways that study provides you with that feedback that you need as a parent to make sure that your child is mastering the material. It's also an awesome way for your kids to get in the habit of seeing what they missed without getting discouraged with the test score, but focusing on going over those questions to make sure that they know what lessons that they need to work on or what concepts that they need to work on. Instead of saying, go back and review all of the lessons or go back and review all of the quizzes. I know at a glance, these are all areas of strength. They do not need to repeat those, to review those or anything else. We can just focus on these, or like I said, we can go down here and watch the correct answer or read the explanation. So I love, love that about study. Um, instant feedback, 
you're able to track progress, you're able to see how your student is doing. And so make sure that you try to implement that. Take a minute and go and look in your kids' classes. Make sure that they're mastering the material at 100%. Again, it doesn't matter how many times it takes them to get 100%. To me, it's the fact that they now understand why they got the question wrong and what the correct answer is. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that helps somebody. Have a great day, guys. Bye.